Craig County Hazardous Waste and Recycling Program is excited to support this workshop series. It resonates with our mission, which is to provide solutions for hazardous waste, recycling, and waste reduction efforts in Hood River, Wasco, and Sherman counties. And this workshop series really exemplifies that in an artistic, innovative, and informative way. And we appreciate that and support it and spread the word. Hi, I'm Kathy Carter. Today we're going to be making recycled fashion wear at the Columbia Center for the Arts. This is a class for all genders, all ages, and it's all going to be from trash, garbage, but recycled things, and some things that are not recyclable, so we want to find a way to be able to put those things with our fashion and keep them out of landfills and oceans and, and keep the pollution down. So today, we are going to be making this recycled fashion art uh, dress. And it's made from chip bags and all sorts of funky materials, but we're going to go through all of that to make the dress. Uh, first, we're going to start with the tutu which is the bottom part of this dress. And what we do is we use some sort of elastic. This is actually from some clothing that I, that I took it off of. First, I tied this around here. But another thing that you can do, if you don't have a mannequin at home, because I know not everybody has one, is you can just do the elastic around a chair. So that's another way to do this. And I'll show you how we do that. These items right here, these different colored ones, are actually those plastic tablecloths that people use at parties and then they, then they get thrown in the garbage. Um, they are thin, they're not recyclable because they have food on them, and so it clogs up the recycling machine. So here's a piece of tablecloth, and I will simply cut it into strips. I've got some strips going here. Let's add a little blue in there. Let's add a little pink in there. But you simply just cut it into strips, easy. Then you undo the strip. And how we're gonna attach this is you make a loop, stick it through the elastic, pull the bottom part through, and then tighten. Don't worry about how long it is, we're gonna shorten that up later. So again, the loop, put it through, and you got it. One more time. Loop, pull it through, and tighten. So that's what's going to be the base and we're going to go around and do that all over the sides. There are other things that you can put in there too, like this is some netting from a shower scrunchie. You can use ribbons left over from birthday wrap or some kind of gift wrap. You can use a shoestring as a bow. A shower scrunchie that you find in your shower. These are definitely not recyclable. So all you have to do is find the middle, cut it, and this just makes yards and yards and yards of this stuff. It's thick, it's a tube, and then it's the same thing that we did before. We make a loop and pull it through. You could also use some crepe paper, same thing again. Um, here's a shoestring we could add in here. Bada bing. You can also do a tutu with two layers. Get another piece of elastic and add it. And when you do that, you could even make a knot at the end of each strip of whatever, and that will make it stand out more. So it'll be a fuller skirt. Now, to make the top, we're using chip bags. Here's 
something that's fun about this bag. It's got a little window here, you know, so you can see the chips. You can also put and glue in other things to make it look fun behind there. So what you do with the chip bag is, you have your scissors and you just cut off the top, cut off the bottom, and you either want to cut the side or you could have cut the back, it's up to you. And there's several different ways that you can put it together. For me, I found that I like sewing it best. But you could also use this fabric tack glue. You could use this multi-grip glue. It's clear, it sticks quickly. Um, tacky glue can work. And you can also use a glue gun. So then what we're gonna do is put this on our mannequin or the chair. I'm just going to um, stick it on. So it's kind of like this. Later on, we can go back and make little tucks to make it fit, but for right now, uh, we're just gonna kind of leave it like this. And it would go around to the back and, and, and to hold it until you're ready to make it better. Of course, you're gonna use a chip clip, right? To finish the back of the top, you need to measure your body to fit. Then sew the front onto an old t-shirt or lace it up the back. To lace it up, fold, then sew, glue, clamp, or duct tape the end pieces to make them thicker and stronger. Use a hammer and a nail or a hole punch to make three holes in the fold. Fold and punch holes in both sides. Use a shoelace, string, or ribbon to lace up the back. Make sure the laces are even. And voila, the back is finished. Um, you can do different things to the, the top of it, like add a little border. I, I had a bag of New York chips, and so I added that. Um, I glued this. This is actually from the um, tablecloth, and it said party. Ooh, party. And then the straps on top are tea bags taped together or sewn together or glued together. And then you make a strap there. The next thing that we're gonna add to is this. This little fun flower. So you so when we go to make this all the same size and make it all even. You could use pinking shears or zigzag scissors, as I called them when I was young, and or regular scissors. And we're just gonna take a handful of this and even it up by just chopping. I have a little extra over here. And so we just take this and kind of put it all together, just scrunch it. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of things going on. But, um, and then I just take one of the pieces and tie it. So it just turns into a little bit of a flower. And then we're gonna make the center piece of the flower and that's gonna come from our worst thing that ends up in landfills and oceans and that is water bottles. So we're gonna take this water bottle and kids, make sure that you have an adult around you when you do this. I'm going to use a serrated knife, which is like a bread knife, um, and you will cut the end off. And you'll see that the bottom of this looks like a flower. You can have it either way. Now you could use paint, you could use permanent markers, you could color this in. And then you would take this, glue it here, and for instructional purposes, we're gonna just do a pin. You can put a bead right in the middle. So you have a little flower there. Here's a good example of one here. This was a bottle of Perrier, so it's green. 
This is a bottle cap glued there. This is the leftover. There was a feather flying around for some reason, so I threw that in there too. Just being creative with what you want to make. We also have a necklace, and this is also made from trash items. And it's made from the wire basket that are on the top of a, a bottle of champagne or sparkling cider. The top of that Perrier bot bottle, the cap, and a bead. This bead came from one time when I was in Maui. It's called a cocoa bead. So I just simply cut it off and I just glued each piece in. Now because each piece has a different level and it's hard to get it even, in order to make it all stick together, this is something else that you can use. These come when you have a pedicure, these little, and then they go right in the trash. So you can literally cut off a little piece and then you use it in between each thing so that it sticks well and so it stays. And then you can make uh, the neckline out of a ribbon, you could use an old chain that you have, take apart old jewelry, make it together. This, this is just an example of, of what you could do with that. You can also add sunglasses. You could put together something like this. Again, these are the top of bottles. This was milk, this was something else. I simply just put paper in here. This is a little twisty tie behind that we glue there. We have these all over the place, these little eyeballs, stick them in. Um, so, so that's another easy thing that you can do and add to your outfit. A good postcard would be something to cut up and put a little bit inside there would make it really fun. A lot of people have Keurig machines. It comes with a recycle, recycle a bowl bottom here, but, but there's a plastic ring. So what we came up with is is taking the ring and would make great earrings, little hoops, would you say? Um, so this one, I actually put a little bread twist, keeping your bread fresh. You can just stick that on and then use another pair of earrings or take a pair of earrings apart to make the earring. This one has a little uh, safety pin that comes on clothing labels, but you could actually take an earring of your own and just stick it in, close it, you've got an earring. You can decorate this with permanent marker, you can use paint, you could use all sorts of things, and there you go, you've got something made out of trash. Grab some Legos, glue those on, makes it really cute. You could put that inside of, of the flower too. So you can make a hat out of various things. These are just ribbon tubes, um, a little uh, bottle cap top. This was off of a paper clip. Glue that on. Here's a little, you know, leopard print. You've got ribbon. Just gluing things on. There's all sorts of things you can use. Now we have a hat. I want you to use your creativity. See what you can create out of what you have. This, I had a few friends give me some bag of chips, you know, things that they had around their house. We have a pig feed bag that we thought was gonna be a little crazy, but it turned out to be an adorable dress. Look around, everybody has a junk drawer. Look in there, you'll find all sorts of things. Okay kids, now it's time for you to strut your stuff on the runway. I need your adult in the house to make a video of you wearing your fabulous outfit that you just made. I want you to have your sass, your confidence, your amazing smile, because you just made the most gorgeous recycled fashion ever. So I wanna see your confidence and your smile coming through when you do the runway. So here's a little piece of how I'm gonna show you and then our good friend Wanda is gonna show you how it's really done. Put some music to it. That helps a little bit with your fashion walk as well. So this is how it's done. You're gonna have about 30 feet that you're gonna walk down and walk back. And again, strut your stuff. 
Your dress is called All That and a Bag of Chips, and that's what I want you to be. All That and a Bag of Chips. Here we go. And strutting, and walking, and smiling. And show me the fabulous dress. And we turn around, show it to me. And then we're gonna walk right back again. Strutting your stuff, yeah, hey, we got it. Parents, we need you to send in a release and we'll have that on the, the website um, for when your child does send in their video that, that you release us to be able to use it and make a fashion show. But we'll, we'll have all that information for you. Um, and also, when you're using items like the knife that I talked about, the scissors, make sure there's an adult around that, that can help with that. We don't want anybody getting hurt. We don't need any medical trash in part of our dress. We want you to be safe, we want you to be careful, but we also want you to have lots of fun because that's what it's about. So, let's do it. All that and a bag of chips.